The last session we were together, I talked to you about how he's rescued us. He's rescued us completely from the tyrannical rule of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom realm of his dear son or his beloved son. That's in the Passion Translation, Colossians 1 verse 13. I want to immediately take us to a scripture in the book of Matthew, a scripture you know well. Um, Matthew 6, I'm going to read verse 31 to 33. So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things, verse 32, dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Remember what I said in our previous session. He has rescued us and He has come from the Father to bring all of the Father's resources, all of the Father's life, everything that He has in His realm of living. He's brought it in His rescue operation to us. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And so, again, the word trouble and worries talks about a rescue operation. It's interesting to me that in this passage of Scripture, again, there is a big distinction between what realm we are living in and the environment and the circumstances that we're living in. And come on, isn't it just the way of the human being that you want to worry about something? You want to have a care about something. You want to give your thoughts to something. And inevitably, when your thoughts and your cares and your worries go to something, it's about what are you going to eat? What are you going to drink? And what are you going to wear? In our modern day vernacular, it's like, is my job going to provide enough for me? Have I got a good enough place to stay? Have I got transportation? What about schooling? What about uh, um, health, health uh, and, and hospitalization and health care that I might need? So many things to worry about, so many things to give thought about, so many things to give your cares to about. But the scripture says this is the way of the unbelievers to worry about these things. So then what is the way of the believer? Well, if you're a believer, then you must believe that the Father sent Jesus. And if the Father sent Jesus, He didn't just send Jesus to say, die for them and so that they can go to heaven, that's it. No, He sent Jesus to bring heaven to earth. He literally, Jesus came from heaven and He came to earth. When He was on the earth, He says, I've come to represent the Father. I've come to show you the ways of the Father, and I've come to bring to you everything that the Father has. So what did He do? He brought heaven to earth. So when we talk about the kingdom of God, we are talking about the realm of everything that God has and everything that God has in, his, in Himself to give to us. It's the kingdom of God. And so if, if we recognize that God is our Father, then we go to our Father as the head of the kingdom, the head of heaven, the head of and the source of the creator of all life. He knows the very best of everything that we have need of. He's ready to provide it. And He just says, seek me first. Seek everything that I am, the way that I am, and then these things will get provided to you. It's interesting nowadays if you think about modern day kingdoms and uh, princes and, and uh, sheiks and all these kinds of places, these kinds of heads of and monarchies. Um, they live in palaces. Their kids live in the palaces with them. Their kids don't have to actually think about what they're going to eat or drink or wear. It all gets provided and served to them. Their biggest concern is that they must get educated in the ways of the kingdom, 
the monarchy, the ways of authority and power. Well, I guess that's what we've got to focus on. Then all these things will be added to us. Let's pursue our Father. Mm -hmm.